Hi everyone, Mr. Canistero here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about some of the basic concepts in kinematics. Our goal today is to define distance, displacement, speed, and velocity, and kind of show through an example problem how to uh, measure or calculate them. So these words, um, very, very commonly mistaken in introductory physics, the difference between distance and displacement and the difference between speed and velocity. Hopefully this video and problem today will help kind of clarify their difference. So uh, the example problem I'm gonna use is a person hitting the home run. So envision bottom of the ninth, uh, two outs, bases loaded, full count. Uh, here's the pitch. It's slammed out of the park, it's a home run. As you run around the bases, taking your glory lap, you've done it, you won the game. We want to know what is the distance traveled, displacement traveled, speed and velocity. So let's, uh, let's make a, put a little bit of numbers to this. First off, we know the distance from home plate to first base is 90 feet. And that 90 feet is the same uh, from first to second, uh, second to third, and third to home. Finally, the other thing in this problem, just to supply some numbers, during your, during the, your glory lap around the bases, because you were kind of strutting your stuff, t uh, taking your time going around, it took a total time of about 40 seconds. You know, you were waving to the fans, cheering, you just won the game. So our goal is, let's talk about distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. So first off, what is distance? When I hear the word distance in physics, I often like to think about the word total distance because total distance is really just how much you travel in total so in this problem with the player running around the bases the distance is the total amount the player moves going from home plate to first second third and back home so if it's 90 feet from home to first it's another 90 feet plus another 90 feet plus another 90 feet and so in this case the total distance is 90 feet times four which is 360 feet. Displacement, on the other hand, is something very different. So displacement really cares about where do you finish in relation to where you start? Or another way to think about it is it's your final position uh, minus your starting position. So in the problem that we did, the person started at home base ran around the bases and ended up at home base. So if all we care about is where the person started and where the person finished, the person started and finished in the same spot. So for our problem that we did, our displacement would be a displacement of zero meters because the person started and finished in exactly the same spot. And so you can see distance and displacement, although they sound and you've used them interchangeably, can end up being very different numbers and have totally different meanings. Now, similarly, if we were to measure um, a person's average speed while running around the bases, average speed is calculated by doing the total distance traveled divided by the total time. So I'm going to write that as total distance divided by time. And so it's a, it's a formula, it's a calculation. And so the average speed, if we take the total distance, that was 360 feet. The time was 40 seconds, just for the problem I made up. And so dividing, we get an average speed of 360 divided by 40, which is nine feet per second. So that means on average, every second, the baseball player was moving nine feet every second as uh, he, he ran around the bases, taking his glory lap. Average velocity though, is something entirely different. So average velocity is defined as follows. Your displacement, divided by the time interval being measured. So for this problem, we had a displacement of zero meters and a time of 40 seconds. And so doing the calculation, zero divided by 40, we get an average velocity of zero feet per second. And so interpreting that, that means this. On average, if all we care about is where you started compared to where you finished, how fast would you have to walk to get from where you started to where you finished? Well, since you started and ended in the same place, it's essentially uh, the same as a person just standing still for the, for the entire time going around the bases. So both distance and displacement have their uses depending uh, on what you're looking at in physics, and same thing with speed and velocity. So I hope today's video helped cleared up um, a little bit of those misconceptions. 
and hopefully put a big smile on your face uh, thinking about distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. Have a great, have a great day, everyone.